Hi, I'm Margie Remmers Davis with Crystal Clear Cashflow, creator of the fast and easy way to QuickBooks Online Pro Advisor Certification. So in case you didn't notice, a couple of days ago, Intuit released a new change to their chart of accounts experience with no notice, no email, no training, no nothing. They just dropped it into our account. So I thought it would just take a few minutes to just go over this new experience because it is quite different than what we are used to. So let's take a look. So here I am in my chart of accounts in the sample company, and it looks just the same. Um, I will tell you that not everybody is seeing this new experience. I have it in my account, but not all uh, QBO A accounts have it. Um, but you will see it in the sample company. So here we are, and you'll see the difference when we create go to create a new account. So you'll notice if if you are familiar at all with the chart of accounts, that this is completely different than what we are used to seeing. So what we have now is we have the different accounts grouped by type. So we have income, expenses, bank accounts, assets, credit cards, liabilities, and equity. Now, if I go to create a new account, I'm gonna select that item, so here's my income. Then you'll notice down here at the bottom that it will um, show me kind of a preview of what I have currently. It'll show me that this is a profit and loss account. This is showing my new account preview, so my new account, where it's gonna be. Income, right here, there are several kind of um, types of income accounts. So we have income, and then if I scroll down, you'll notice that there is other income, and each of the income expenses, they all have different types as well. They're kind of like super categories. You can't change those, that's internal. So this is an income account, and then it has a list of all the ones that you have currently. So these are the current um, accounts that I can scroll down, and so then I can uh, then create my new account and see where it's going to be. So the first thing that it asks me is save account under. Now the terminology we're used to is parent com uh, is a parent account. So um, this is asking you to select what the parent account is going to be. Now recently they made a change that um, only accountants can add new parent accounts that your clients can't add parent accounts anymore. So I imagine that um, they have that they have a little bit of a different experience right here on that drop down. So if you're not going to for if you don't want this to be a sub account, then and if you want it to be a parent account, then you would just leave it blank. If you want it to be a sub account, um, I'm sorry, not leave it blank, but you would select kind of that super category. This is just at the top level an income account, or if it's going to be a sub account, you would put it here. So I'm just going to say this is a an income account. And then for right here, it says tax form section. So the tax form section is what used to be the detail type. In fact, if you look back at the list right here, and maybe they'll change this at some point, if you look back here, you'll notice they still call it detail type. So if here, but here they call it tax form selection. So this is kind of that um, more detailed level information um, from the, for that account. So you can specify more detail. I'm going to put here as sales of product income right here. And then here finally is where you put the account name. So I'm just going to call it my new account. And notice what happens while I'm typing is it shows you down at the bottom where it's going to show up. So right here, now there's my new account and it's gonna be underneath um, landscaping services. That's where it's showing up, okay? And then the description is optional. You'll notice that there is uh, a no star next to the description, okay? So I'm going to save that. And then let's just real quick take a look at the balance sheet accounts because they are just a little bit different. If I click new and I select uh, a bank, for example, 
then I have different options here. It says starting date and opening balance. Um, it shows me that it's on the balance sheet. Um, so that so it's a little bit different here. I can look at assets and you can see how it's just slightly different there. Okay. All right, so now that I have my new account, let's see how it shows up on reports. So I'm gonna go to my reports. I'm going to go to the profit and loss. Now I haven't put any, given this transaction, or I haven't given this account any transactions yet. So I do have to customize my report. And I do have to say that I want um, all of them, which it would include the non-zero ones, right? So I'm gonna hit run report. And you'll notice right here, my new account showing up on the profit and loss. Now, they did notice these are kind of the sub or the, those super categories that I was telling you about, the income right here, cost of goods sold. Um, you can't change these. However, they did recently um, change this, uh, give you this option for edit titles. If you click edit titles, then you can change that super category income to be something else. Uh, for example, money in, maybe you'd, you'd wanna put that. Um, then uh, cost of goods sold, maybe you just wanna call that COGS, okay? You can change that and that will affect all of the reports in the system. However, I did test it earlier today and if I change it here, it does not change it in the chart of accounts experience in that dropdown. Um, so if I go right here, even if I had changed it to something else, I would not see, it, I would still see income, for example, right there. All right, and that's it for the new chart of accounts experience. I hope you play with it, kind of see how it works. This down here is all, it's all really kind of cool. It's cool that they gave us this new feature, maybe not so cool that they just dropped it on us without any warning. All right, that's it for now. I will see you next time.